Hi there. In this video, I will introduce you to the FL Studio interface and its main windows. I will then explain to you the role of each window and how it might be used to create a piece of music. Now I have the FL Studio interface before me here. Yours might look slightly different. This might be because all the windows can be toggled on and off, and some of these controls can be moved around. Rest assured, however, that when the time comes to use anything, I will show you how to access it. Most of your work in FL Studio will be in the five main windows that can be accessed from these buttons here, or from the view menu at the top. There is the playlist, the step sequencer, the piano roll, the browser, and the mixer. Also, there are the main controls located here at the top of the screen. Before I get into any of them in detail, let me explain to you the role of each window and how each might be typically used to create a piece of music. Now everyone goes about making their music in a different way, and there are many ways to go about making your tracks in FL Studio. I'm going to show you one typical workflow that we can use. Now first, we might use the browser over here to select our sounds. We can then take our sounds that we select and put them into the step sequencer where they will become channels. Then we can use the step sequencer and the piano roll to create beats and melodies and so forth. Now each section that we create, whether it be a beat, a melody or a chord progression, we will put into a separate pattern. We can then use the playlist to sequence each of our patterns together to create an entire song or track. Now going on in the background the whole time is the mixer with which we can use primarily to modify our sounds by adding effects, changing levels, using EQ and so forth. I like to think of using the playlist as working on a macro level. We're taking building blocks to create a complete building out of them. Now conversely, I like to think of using the mixer as working on a micro level. We're getting inside the very sounds themselves and changing them. And somewhere in the middle, on a meso level, is the step sequencer and piano roll, where we create the building blocks needed to create the whole building using the playlist. Up at the top here are the main controls, the most important of which are the transport controls located here. Using these will allow you to play, pause, stop and record. The number here represents the tempo of your track. Now like most controls that you will come to use in FL Studio, it can be adjusted easily by clicking on it and holding down the left mouse button whilst travelling the mouse up or down to achieve the desired result. The other controls in the main window I will explain to you as they become relevant during the tutorials.